We've got a new problem today. Today it's electrical. So now my hot tub's not working properly. So the hot tub is getting power, but it will not work properly. It won't turn on. The pumps won't run and the heater won't work. We do have power, but when I try to run the pumps, lights come on, but nothing happens. No pumps will run. I talked to an electrician, and what I found out is he said it sounds like I have one of the uh, legs of the 240 volt electrical supply is out. It got shorted out some kind of way. I do have an underground buried 220 line coming from my main panel coming to the hot tub. So I suspect that one of those two lines got shorted out and blew out. So let's go do some testing at the panels. First thing I'm going to do is check the power coming in to the main panel. So these lines up at the top here, the lines coming in from the power pole. So we got 122 on this line, 122 on the second line. Now I'm going to go down to the breaker that feeds the sub panel going to the hot tub. 122 on one side, 122 on the other side. So I know everything is good up to the point of the breaker. Now let's go check the sub panel out in the shop. So the electrical line runs underground from the house main panel to a sub panel in my shop. So what I want to do now is test the voltage at the sub panel in the shop. This is coming from the house. So let's test the voltage coming in. These are the lines coming in from the house. So I go hot here, ground over here. I have 122. Over here I have 120. So I have a, sh a little bit of a voltage drop. And what that tells me is uh, that this line is bad. If this line is actually broken underground, I'm going to explain to you why I'm still getting voltage on here. So what's happening is I'm getting 122 volts on one line. It's going to the water heater, which is a 220, which is right over there in the shop. It's going through that water heater and it's feeding back into the second line. So actually I'm only getting 120 volts coming in, but it's going through the water heater, circling around and feeding back into that second leg. And I'm going to prove that by shutting the breaker off that goes to that water heater. Yeah. So this is the breaker going to the water heater. Let's shut that off. So the first leg, I'm getting 122 and on the second leg I am getting zero. So basically now that I've shut off that loop uh, to the water heater I'm getting absolutely no voltage on this line. So this line is somehow broken. It's shorted out uh, somewhere between this panel and the other panel. The only recourse I have now is to dig up that line. I'll get my mini excavator out and start digging. So the main panel is in the house. It runs underground through this gravel drive and then goes into the shop uh, right into this um, conduit right here. That feeds the other panel. So I have a shard in the line underground somewhere between that conduit and that panel. First I'm going to go turn the power off at the panel that's feeding this line so I don't electrocute myself. Here's the red tape that indicates that the uh, electrical wire is buried right under there. So 
So now I'm gonna dig with a hand shovel. test with my meter. I'm going to puncture each one of those two lines with my voltmeter and check the voltage. So if I have 120 on each line that means the break is somewhere between here and the meter. If I don't get 120 volts on each line it means the break is somewhere between this point and the main meter. Uh, so I got a lot of digging to do. I'm gonna test this black one against here and this black one against the ground. And we can see where if the break is before or after this point. But first I gotta go turn the power on. I'm gonna pop a, a hole in this one with the probe. And then I'm gonna pop a hole in this one. I'm getting 122 volts. So let's check this other line. 122 volts. Since I popped a hole in here, I'm gonna put a little bit of this uh, liquid tape. It's an electrical, electrical tape. So here's the severed wire, and here's the other end of it. This is going to go on here like this. So about half the length of this uh, connector, we want to strip it back. Make my cut all the way around. All right, that's about right. So we're going to make two splices. So I'm going to cut this just so this fits in. And that's going to fit right in here. Don't forget to put the shrink tubing before you put the uh, connector on. I got these little connectors at Lowe's. They're a Blackburn splice reducer. All we got left to do is shrink the heat tubing and then I put a little tape around it to help protect it.
go ahead and test it at the panel to make sure there wasn't two brakes or that I didn't do it incorrectly. 122. One twenty-two. Okay, we got correct voltage here, so I think the repair was successful. Now we just gotta go cover that uh, wire back up. Now I'm gonna put a little orange tape so the next time I dig it up, I'll know the wires under it. Uh, it's so wet and muddy that I can't really do any grading right here. But I got it all covered up now. Let's go check on the hot tub and make sure that thing's working okay. Sounds like it's running. Yeah. Oh. Everything's working good, man. Okay, that's it. That's the second time I've had to repair that underground line. I really don't know what's wrong. I don't know if it's the rocks are cutting it or if it was a defective insulation on that line, but I hope it don't happen again.